In this video, I wanted to show you the results of what I did. So this is after I made some organic posts and after I ran some ads, I'll show you exactly what happened and these are the results. So you can see that I gained over a thousand followers. These are all real people, every single one, because the TikTok ads, they show your ads to real people. And you can also see that I ran an ad only on this last video. You see it has 3,161 views and you see the other videos have kind of few views, right? And what happened was the other videos, they got some views from the ad also, but a tiny, tiny trickle. So like the one with 46 views, when I started, it had like 43. And the one that you cannot see how many views there are, the one with the woman here, that video right here the, on the bottom right, you just don't see the views. But I saw a slightly higher rate of views of people who maybe saw this video first, the one with the purple kind of skies. And then when they looked at my other videos, a lot of people seem to have been choosing this one with the woman looking out the window. So this one maybe got like 10 extra views or 15 extra views out of the extra followers. So it's really engagement per video that I got and engagement on my whole profile, which was the 1,065 followers. And I literally just stopped running these ads. And what I actually saw that was interesting, I stopped running them at 1,060 followers and these extra five followers, they might have actually come from perhaps I'm ranking in some hashtag, perhaps some other part of the algorithm. I can't know because I don't know where I'm ranking. I haven't really checked. And if I did check, there would be a lot of places to check, like under music, under different things. So it's really hard to know where they're coming from. But certainly they're actually not coming from ads because I turned off the ads after I got to the 1000 followers. So with that, let me actually show you my ads dashboard, see what happened there. So you see, this is my ad dashboard and you see, I turned off this ad. There's a toggle here on off the right now it's turned off. So I got to over a thousand followers and then I said, okay, enough of this particular experiment. We're good. So you see, I spent $70 on the whole thing to get a thousand followers at $70 here. And you see, it gives me some metrics like how many impressions I got, all these things. So it's quite cheap compared to hiring influencers and you get a lot of predictability. So now you see fully transparently of exactly what I did, how I did it, the results, and you're able to replicate every step. The only thing I would suggest is that the video that I promoted, you know, it's not the greatest video in the world, but it has still a lot of quality in itself. Like that video was made by a me and then edited by a professional video editor and the music was made by me and then edited by a professional musician and you know like it was fully produced like a professional song so there's a lot of work right why am i saying this is because if you just make a video that's a little bit amateur or not great it may get fewer followers because it's real people right so real people decide do they want to follow you or not and if the video you're promoting maybe not so great then the ads will become less effective so that's the only sort of thing to watch out for because everybody's results will be essentially a little different. But in any case, now you see exactly from A to Z what to do and how to do it, how to promote on TikTok and what to expect. And just one more thing, you can also have this idea that, you know, in my case, I promoted music, whatever. But let's say you have a product. Well, for $70, you can get a ton of people to watch your promotional video or promotional thing for a business. It's not expensive. That's pretty good actually, especially understanding that I targeted very premium audiences, right? If you expand your audience to other countries, other age groups, etc., you can get these results, but for way, way cheaper. So I'm letting you know about that first, because I know a lot of people will wonder, well, how can I make ads cheaper? That's how include more and different demographics. And secondary, notice that you don't have to just promote music. You can actually promote a lot of things, products, services, and many other things that your business might be doing. So now it's your turn. You know exactly how to promote on TikTok. Now it's just, you have to actually do it.